Thursday, December 11th. Final start Tuesday and Christmas is just two weeks away. I'm Kylie Horsley. And I'm Zoe Tuttle. The oldest, smallest dinosaur to walk North America has been identified. We'll tell you about it. Your CSN News starts now. The United States Department of Defense has announced it has closed the American detention facility in Afghanistan, bringing to an end a controversial practice of holding prisoners in the country without trial. The U.S. said it no longer had custody of detainees in Afghanistan following the transfer on Wednesday of remaining detainees from Bagram Airfield north of Kobol, Reuters reported. The Defense Department said the closure had been planned and was not linked to the congressional report on the CIA's interrogation tactics. A storm expected to be one of the windiest and rainiest in five years pushed across parts of Northern California early Thursday as schools canceled classes and residents stocked up on supplies. Moderate rain and gusty winds hit the area north of San Francisco with heavier rain expected in the coming hours across the region, the National Weather Service said. The storm could also cause debris slides, especially in areas heavily affected by the widespread wildfires. Big waves are expected along the coast. As much as 8 inches of rain could fall on coastal mountains over a 24-hour period of time, the Weather Service said. A skull and jawbone belonging to North America's oldest horned dinosaur has been identified more than 100 million years after it walked the Earth, scientists said. With its hooked beak, chiseled cheeks, and small stature, it's been dubbed the little dinosaur that could by paleontologists. The creature measured no more than two foot long and weighed about 3.5 pounds. It likely hid out in the bushes to avoid predators. The rare find in North America suggests this type of dinosaur migrated from Asia to North America around 110 million years ago. We'll be right back after these messages. know what reckless driving is? It is the operation of an automobile in a dangerous manner given the circumstances. It could be going too fast for the conditions, having too many passengers in the vehicle, or failing to yield to other vehicles. Did you know motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of death for teens? Seven teens ages 16 to 19 die every day from motor vehicle injuries. Reckless driving could lead to a fine, driver's license suspension, or worse. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Your smile is your first impression. Make it a good one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 55 with a low of 42, and tomorrow's high is 52 with a low of 40. There will be a Skills USA meeting right after school today in Mr. Allen's room. Photo and broadcasting students, if you want to join, you need to be at this meeting. Which class wants to possess the spirit stick going into 2015? You'll have your chance to lay claim when you show up to this Saturday night. Wildcat girls basketball team with the blackout game. Wear black and come to support the team. The class with the highest percentage of students will be awarded the spirit stick next Friday at the end of the year assembly. See you there. The teen outreach program is hosting a finals week bake sale during all three lunches during December 16th through the 19th. Bring your money and your clothes. Give one, get one. Bring one piece of clothing and get one free baked good. We prefer winter clothing such as gloves, hats, scarves, coats, and etc. Please only bring new or gently used items. Clothing will be donated to families in need. Hunger Games Food Drive winners Morgan Anders, Mitch Flint, Sarah Combs, Kendra Law, Audrey Ashcraft, Courtney Frazier, Naomi Hernandez, Garrett Brook, and Jacob Grant. See Miss Pixler in A201 to claim your prize. Also, Creative Writing Club meets after school today in A201. A National Honor Society is serving free hot cocoa as final stress relief during lunch on Tuesday. Today's SAT word of the day is dislocate, a verb that means to displace or to put out of its proper place. You could use it this way. The doctor instructed his patient that she had a dislocated shoulder and that she would need further care. That's the news. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on the Wildcat Wire.